Hey Barty people, I'm Captain Zeus and welcome back to BP Fun. In today's video, we have some DC news and rumors going around that we want to go ahead and share with you guys over the past week or week and a half. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe for more nerdy content just like this and click the bell to be notified when we post another nerdy video. Now, this isn't new news, but in case you guys missed it, Peacemaker 2 has just begun filming. The latest image James Gunn has dropped of Peacemaker's helmet, which is going to be fantastic because apparently Peacemaker Season 2 is going to be into the DCU, so I'm very interested to see how this goes from the DCU. EU into the DCU. Highly anticipated series. First season was fantastic. Looking forward to season two. Now there has been some leaked images of David Corn Sweat filming a new ad and you get your first look at his Superman bond, which to be frank, I thought this was Henry Cavill at first. He's looking very in shape. Whatever regimen he is on, I need to figure that out. And I'm very excited for the Superman movie, which is filming currently. Now we do have our very own Mott and Pot Kent that have been casted for James Gunn's Superman movie. Pruitt Taylor Vince has been casted as Jonathan Kent and Neva Howell has been cast as Martha Kent, according to The Wrap. I'm not really a big fan of Pruitt Taylor Vince as Jonathan Kent, to be honest. Maybe it's because of the last iterations that we've had for Pa Kent. Doesn't exactly feel the right role for me, and him as an actor, eh, not exactly too thrilled about. Nevertheless, I mean, I'm excited to see how his interpretation of Jonathan Kent is, considering we've had very different versions in recent years. And speaking of James Gunn's Superman movie, he apparently forgot that David Cornsweet auditioned for the role of Adam Warlock in Guards of the Galaxy. Volume 3, which is kind of wild. Like, how do you forget that your lead actor auditioned for a role in one of the biggest movies of the year it came out, and for a pretty important role at that? Now, in some non-DCU news, Zack Snyder has said that he actually wanted Leonardo DiCaprio to play Lex Luthor in the DCEU over Jesse Eisenberg. He also said he wanted Tom Cruise to play Rorschach in the Watchmen movie. I'll be honest, these castings is freaking wild. I'm kind of glad that we got the Rorschach we got. I would not have been a fan of Tom Cruise's Rorschach, although I think he would have been able to play a very good Rorschach, I don't think it would have been at the level that James played in that movie. Phenomenal job acting in that movie. That movie is one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. And for the Jesse Eisenberg option, I mean, honestly, I'm wasn't. A, I'm still not a fan, really, of Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, although the more I watch it, the more it kind of grows on me. I just prefer Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor. I thought he was the perfect Lex Luthor, and I don't think there's going to be a more perfect Lex Luthor than him, because he fits the role so well. I would have been interested to see Leonardo DiCaprio as Lex Luthor, although I don't think it would have been as good as we hope. He's a great actor, do a great me wrong, but that role, I don't know. Y you need to have a certain type of person play that role. So we're going to have to see how Nicholas Holt does in Superman, because honestly, I'm also not a fan of him as Lex Luthor. But then again, I'm trying to compare everyone to Kevin Spacey. That's just my personal opinion. Now, we also have season two of Adult Swim's My Adventures with Superman series coming soon with a poster and teaser trailer release. This series has had a lot of mixed reviews, although mostly positive in terms of the animation and the story. The only negatives that have really been coming out was the race washing as well as the toxic Lois Lane that they had in this series, which seems to be a common trend as there was a similar version with Amber and Invincible. So we'll have to see how this series comes out. I watched the first episode when it came out. Didn't exactly appeal to me too much. I thought it was cute, cool-ish, kind of, not really. Wasn't my cup of tea, but apparently it's good enough to go for a season two, so we're going to have to see as to what this, uh, what season two is going to entail. It seems to have something to do with the Fortress of Solitude. But that's going to be it for me here. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this DCU news and rumors. I'm Captain Zeus, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.